Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Thanks so much for taking a little time out of your day to watch this video. I thought it'd be a great idea to show you how easy this little triangular box is to make. I made it to match my wedding card. Our theme today for the One Stamp at a Time blog hub is Happily Ever After. I'm gonna give you the details about this card and show you how to make this box. So let's get started. This is probably one of the easiest projects I've ever made. I'm gonna be using the 3 8 inch metallic edge ribbon, and this is the gold. We also have this available in silver. Love this ribbon. You can color it any color you want with stamp and blend alcohol markers or regular markers, or you can drag it through your ink pad and make it whatever you need it to be. But I thought it would accompany my little triangular box perfectly. So what I'm going to start with here is the Springtime Foils Specialty Designer Series paper. This is free during celebration. You get a pack with all of these beautiful foil designs and you get three of each one of these sheets in 12 by 12. We've got silver stripes, copper polka dots, silver and gold leaves and then also copper and gold flowers. So um, if you watched my Facebook Live last Sunday night at 6 p.m., I am on Facebook Live each week, you saw some of the beautiful cards that I made with this pack of designer series paper. Let's get started here. This is three by six, and I've got my paper trimmer here. You're gonna bring this in, and I'm going to score it at three inches. And then you need to find the center points here. So I've got the stylus from the Simply Scored tool. Any stylus would do. You could also use a pencil. And I've got this lined up at one and a half inches because that's gonna be the center point of our piece of paper. And I'm just going to put a little mark at each end so that I can score the diagonal lines. And I know it's maybe hard to see on here, but I've got my marks here. Now I'm gonna line the mark up with the channel on my paper trimmer, and also this score line on the channel on my paper cutter. And I'm just going to score that. And then we're gonna do the other side the same way. Line up the score line in the middle with the mark that I made on the end in the center. And I hope you can see that. And I might have scored that just a little too hard. So you wanna be careful about that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I'm gonna just keep rolling along so you can see how I did this. And again, I've just lined up that mark that I made with the middle score line in the track on the trimmer. There we go. Okay, let's see what I have. I'm going to burnish my edges and then these edges are going to fold over just like this. And this is how your box goes together. Isn't that cute? Now, this would be really easy to make bigger. Instead of having six by three, you could do any size really um, and make this box. So let me show you now how I put the ribbon through. And by the way, I found this box a long time ago and saved it. It's been around forever. I don't know who to give credit to, but it's a great little box. Um, I'm gonna hold this side together here and I'm going to insert my handheld punch and punch a hole through both layers. Now you're gonna open up that side and do the same thing on the other side. So it just makes it a lot easier to put the ribbon in. So we're gonna get this in here, here we go. I see I did score mine a little too hard. I'm just gonna grab some tape to hold that in place. I don't want it to break open. So be careful when you're scoring that you don't score too hard like I did. Okay, this is it. You're going to 
grab your ribbon, and I've already cut a nice pointy edge on it, and I am going to feed it through one layer, just like that, and bring it up, feed it through the other layer, there we go, and then we're going to feed it through the other side too. Oops, I'm gonna, where did my scissors go? Right here. I'm gonna just cut this again because it got a little frayed on me. I need it to be at a nice point so you can get it through the hole. By the way, this is the quarter inch handheld hole punch. And then we're gonna feed it through this last little circle, hole I should say, just like that. Isn't that simple and cute? And then you're just going to tie this in a cute little bow. And that just holds your little box together. Let me show you some details about this one. I am using the Petal Palette bundle for my card and my little 3D box today. And I also brought in the Petal Passion embellishments. You can see I have a little flower here with a pearl in it. This is where that's coming from. This has flowers in it and also these little leaves. So these are really pretty little embellishments called Petal Passion embellishments. And they are on the same page with this suite of products. So these are really cute. I use gold embossing powder and I embossed and die cut the bird and the greeting on the front with the petals and more thinlet dies. There's some great little images in here. This is one of my favorites. And you can see that I've used it on this card right in here. Isn't that pretty? I also embossed a flower and put a pearl in the middle. I die cut this with the die that comes with it to make this wedding card. So I've got a wedding card and what do I plan to put in here? Well, the card that I made this for, my friend, she absolutely adores chocolate covered peanuts. So that's a nice cute little treat I can put in this box. I will add a gift card in the card for her and she'll have a special little treat when she opens up her presents on her wedding day. What do you guys think? Pretty neat, right? Thanks so much for joining me for this video today. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and I can mail you the catalogs if you don't have them. Make sure you click down here in the bottom corner so you subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you need to purchase any of these products and you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, click right up here in the top right corner and that'll take you right to my blog. You'll find lots of great ideas there and also an online ordering button. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.